You must have used the switch block in the traditional way for like a million times now. Well, in Z Shop 8, the switch statement can now be used in an improved way, which is much shorter and convenient to use. So watch this video till the end to find out how to use a switch expression. Also, if at any point while watching this video, you think that it is helpful for you, then please take a moment to like it and also subscribe to this channel. Switch expression can be used to evaluate an expression and return its value by matching it with a pattern. There can be a number of expression arms available, but only the one which matches the pattern will be evaluated. So for this simple code example, let's consider a scenario for a fast food center which is taking up orders from the customers. The fast food orders which are to be cooked are then being identified using individual key values which are basically members of an enumeration. So to do that, we can create an enum with the name fast food type. Now for the clients which are going to cook the fast food, first we will have to create an interface. Now for all of these enumeration options, we will have to implement a specific client types to cook each of these fast foods. There can be multiple ways to do it, but I'm just going to create individual classes for each of these items. These are the individual classes which can be used. Now the important part for this code example are not these classes and this enumeration that we have created. The important part is coming up now where first we will use a switch block and then we will convert it to use a switch expression. So to cook a fast food based on the type of the fast food, which is this one, I am going to simply create a method. Let's just call the method as cook fast food. And this is going to return a type of the enum ifastfood. So this can be written as public ifastfood and then cook fast food. And this is going to accept the argument for fast food type enum value. So fast food type and let's just convert it to camel casing. So first I will create a type for the ifastfood enum. So ifastfood, let's just call it fast food and then let's just first return it now normally what we do is we just create a switch block and then we pass in the type of the fast food like this and then we create individual case arms so for instance we can create case arms for all of the four fast food types so for fries and then pizza and so on so let's just do that we will also need a break or we can directly return from it but let's use a break for the purpose of this example now within these case blocks or case statements we can simply set the value for the fast food object as new fries and that's it now let's just repeat the same thing for the remaining three fast food types let's also handle the default case where if the option which is being supplied is none of the four options although right now you can see that there are only four options but in a real world scenario there can be a different value coming in for this method as an argument so let's just provide a default case too now whenever the default case will have the code execution entered in it then we are just going to throw a new exception so right now let's not worry about the type of the exception because this is not important all we have to see is how we can convert this traditional way of creating a switch block to use a switch expression so you can see within this cook fast food method we are just directly mapping the type of the object which we have to use for any of the supplied fast food type in our values now let's create a new method and see how we can use a switch expression so i'm going to use the same signature for the method but i'm just going to change its name so let's just call it as cook fast food um, you know what switch expression although this is not a pretty good name but for the purpose of this example i guess this will do so now this time we are not going to create a switch block the first thing that we will have to do is to write the arrow operator and then we have to type the name of the argument which is fast food type and then we have to write switch now we can provide the expression arms within the body of this cook fast food switch expression method so let's just do that 
the first arm is going to be uh, you know what i am just going to copy the exact same order from over here so first one is fries so fast food type dot fries and then we have to write the arrow operator and then new fries and then a comma now for the remaining three items let's just copy them so this is for a pizza actually this is a new object i mean you cannot instantiate a new object like this this is only going to be a class now the fourth one is a samosa now again when there is a value which is not one of these four available fast food types we have to handle that and we have to throw an exception but this time we are not going to use the default keyword this time we are going to use what is called as a discard pattern now to use a discard pattern we have to just write an underscore and then after the underscore we have to again write the arrow keyword and then we can handle the default case in the situation when the argument value is not one of these four so throw new exception and yeah that's pretty much it now another thing which is different for a switch expression is that we have to use a semicolon after we create this method because this is an expression now first let's talk about the components of this switch expression first of all there is the name of the argument which is followed by the switch keyword and then there is the list of the pattern all of these have this arrow token and then the expression which is being matched with the pattern so over here this entire line is called as an expression arm and the benefit of a switch expression is that number one it is much more shorter to write the switch block we don't really have to write these case and break keywords and then instead of a default case we can use the discard pattern and for that we can just use underscore if you want to learn more about discard pattern then you can always open up the microsoft documentation and know about it there are a bunch of different patterns which we can use while working in the c-sharp language so switch expressions offer us a way to more intuitively map values to you know members they can also be used with properties of an object argument as well for more details on the use of switch expressions please refer to the microsoft docs reference on switch expressions and selection statements the links are shared in the description of this video and that would be everything this video has to offer i'm nitej take care and have fun